I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. Now Sunday, today, that's the main event for Beggars Private Idaho. It's uh, about 1,500 people, I'm told, and, uh, and here we are, I'm starting there now. Now if you'll notice, there's nobody around me, <laughs> which is, uh, I missed the start, but uh, that's also good news. That's kind of how I wanted it today. A, I don't know if you guys noticed about me, I'm not a gravel racer. I never wanted to like race this weekend. What I did want to do was experience the ride, as the rest of you guys might, uh, which I'm going to do. Hopefully I catch some people, make some friends, and uh, some of the aid stations have fun. Also on top of that, I'm not actually registered. Like I'm here as a guest of Shammy Butter, and Rebecca knows I'm here and whatnot, but I never signed up for anything. Nobody ever asked me to. And yesterday I realized that, like, I didn't want to bother anybody, because what's the difference? So I'm essentially riding Bandit, but hopefully they'll forgive me. But I don't have a number or uh, a timing ship or any of that, whatnot. So I'm just gonna have a nice ride. And uh, maybe that's the spirit of gravel I keep hearing about. So far, so good. Also, I found it's hard to make a good video when you're trying to go fast, kind of like either a good ride or a good video. So I think an endurance ride is kind of perfect. Morning. Morning. Have a good ride. You too. Good, Before I get to the first dirt section, I'll discuss equipment. So of course I'm on the Factor LS frame. I got the Kenda uh, 40C tires going. Which I think will be good. Kind of traditional roadie gearing. I had the GRX, but I think it's just a 28 cassette in the back. But there's only 6,000 feet of climbing over 100 something miles, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Another equipment situation here, I should explain. The shot you're seeing right now is uh, I bring a spare GoPro in and I put it in my, my front Aura case bag, in my smuggler bag. Um, and as you can see, I, I left it on. So in a few hours, I will attempt to use my second camera because the battery is out on my first camera and I'll wonder why it's not working. And the answer is because I have an hour and a half of this. There it is. There's a bunch of people. That's how I know I'm not lost yet. Morning. Howdy. Morning. Not sure if you could see the. Uh, there we go. The new thing of a cookie mix. Because I screwed it up yesterday. We are on the first climb, the uh, Trail Creek climb. If I make it through this ride today, yeah. Can you get me some? We got more at the end. The cookie guys will be there. Okay. So. Just a note for everyone, don't fry the flour and cookie mix. You gotta put, I think you can just put on a skillet with the egg and the butter cart done. Hey, um, Phil, you think the chamois butter will work? No, no, do not use chamois butter in your cookies. Okay. We've had this problem. That's, uh, CDC said, not a good idea. Okay, where's the local <laughs> hospital? Just in case. Peace, brother. Look how many people. It's awesome. So you can see the little haze smoke. Actually, the weather forecast for Ketchum, Idaho today said smoke. Uh, it also said low of 55, high of 80, which means there's no way to dress correctly at all. But the uh, smoke coming from all the locals, I'm sure blame California. Basically everything's our fault. The, uh, it's blowing from Tahoe or whatnot. But the, uh, air quality index 
which is a term I'm quite familiar with as an LA resident, is uh, it's only 45 today. So maybe that gets worse, but for now, it's good to go. They'll also blame us for the uh, rising real estate prices in neighboring states. So the condo we're staying in, it's nice. It's like 3-3, 1.4 three, million. So ship has sailed on reasonable Sun Valley things. Yeah. Morning. Bueno. Nice glasses. Morning. Hey. Oh, hey guys. You waited for me. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Are you guys going to have sex back there? How much are they taking off? Oh, hi, Phil. <laughs> How's your day going? Honestly, great. I missed the start. Oh. And I get to talk to everybody. It is kind of fun to ride and chat with everyone. That's all I wanted anyway. Yeah. The turnout's incredible. Thank you. I, I, I've been passing people. It's just, it never, it's never gonna end. <laughs> it's a long line. You can see the road all the way up to the left. Everyone happy so far. So far. Yeah. I'm gonna get you getting a selfie. <laughs> I'm getting a video of you and It's back. selfie inception. <laughs> Thanks for the beers yesterday. <laughs> oh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we were not giving away beers yesterday by any means. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Good job. I do kind of feel bad because they might have called me up at the start and I missed that, which I also did at my high school graduation. I didn't go to the, uh, the ceremony thing. I actually went as a spectator because my buddy Scott was valedictorian and then we left. Morning. Hey! <laughs> How's your day going? It's going well. A little bit of climbing early in the morning. Gotta love it. Ran into a friend slash neighbor from LA, Peter Abraham. Peter, do people know that this, the name of this, Rebecca's Private Idaho, is a reference to a 1991 Keanu Reeves movie called My Own Private Idaho? No, it's about a B-52 song, isn't it? Should I see this movie? You should see it. It's about 30 miles in, you do kind of a U-turn and you see the rest of the riders going the other way. Job. Yeah. It is gorgeous out here. They got a little bit of smoke, and now it's a bunch of cyclist dust. Can't hide how nice it is, though. We did see a giant herd of elk last night on the way back from dinner. Uh, I'm told there was a report of moose during uh, stage two of the, the four day stage race option. Uh, I've not seen said moose yet, but keeping an eye peeled. Hopefully Emily sees him. So I've been doing all day is mostly endurance ride for mile 40 so far. The uh, go hard when I feel like it, go easier when I don't, catch a group, stop to pee, catch another group, some group catches me, say hi to people. It's uh, so far so good. And then there's this. I met Richard here. Well, you, know, you said you lived in LA because you had a buddy yeah, he who got into acting. Actor. Yeah, he did star in a Corn Pops commercial, which I thought was the highlight. But then uh, he ended up uh, Acting in Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul. Morning. 
So just behind me, there was a unofficial aid station, just some nice folks with uh, with a cooler, some cans, and uh, and they a little group was riding by, and someone was, and they offered, they're like, hey, you want a Pepsi? And the guy was like, you have Coke? And they said no, and he's like, oh, that's okay. And he kept riding. Has there ever been a worse indictment on Pepsi? It's so dry out here, and it's like almost the same thing. I should put the camera down before I eat shit on this thing. Talk a little bit about gravel in general. I like to say I'm old enough. I was riding gravel back when it was called dirt. Uh, got into riding in Georgia and North Florida, Gainesville, Florida. I went to college. It's quietly like an early hot spot in the gravel scene. Um, but uh, I, I didn't have much part in that, but I definitely did like a lot of dirt, sand. It just in my training for fun. Back when it was like 25C tires was the widest you could get, I think. I'm so old, it's horrible. I have had a lot of people ask me, when are you gonna race Dirty Kansas or SPT? The answer is never. Um, not the race part anyway. Might be fun to come ride it, but I'd rather, I'd really rather make a video and enjoy it than like be in the pack. Also, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, I'm retired. Anything with the R word in it is just an instant no. Um, I like staying in shape. I like going for my KOMs. Uh, I don't know if there's room for a bunch more pros trying to win gravel stuff. And thankfully that's not my thing and my sponsors don't need me for that. Oh, hey. I miss my dogs. So we are now at mile 81. So 20 miles left. This is gonna be a bit of a slog, I'm not gonna lie. I remember on the way out here, I was going, uh, this is the same road we came out on. We're going like 30. So it's like, now, it's a headwind, but the mountains look like my ridge supply socks. Well, the headwind's no longer a problem. Cause here's a real technical bit at mile 85. All right, my GoPro died, I didn't switch to my phone, which happens sometimes. The, uh, the technical part was technical, and then there was an uphill part, which was uphill, followed by a downhill, which was pretty bumpy. And uh, now we're at 100, almost 100 miles even, pretty close to the end. Uh, just under six hours. So, I don't know, I had fun. Glad I came out here. I guess I should address the, the elephant in the room, maybe the COVID situation, which is, you know, Delta is going up. And for a minute, I wondered if I should come out here. I still don't really know. Of course, I'm vaccinated. Didn't see as many masks as I wanted to around town and especially around Boise, but, uh, you know, the whole thing was outside. Everything was outside. I wore a mask when I was inside. So hopefully there's not too much more of these gray area things. And the next, and this is a peak right now, and the next peak's a little lower, and we can get back to business. Thanks to uh, Shammy Butter for sending me out and protecting my crotch on this washboard. Thanks, Rebecca Rush. Thanks, uh, my Phil's Cookies guys, for coming out. Order a cookie subscription. Cookie mix delivered right to your door. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, have a good one. See ya.